Can I keep this for next time? Sure. (laughs) And share the screen. Oh, here we go. I am. All right. We're ready to start? Yeah. Okay. Image number one. <clears throat> I have I make colorful collages out of found paper. Using a simple cut and paste technique, I combine vintage ledger paper, blueprints, and player piano paper with patterned graph and school line paper. I then paint the collages with watercolor ink and chalk paint. All right, that's to the point. Very nice. Uh-huh. Now, th- there she also submitted uh, a, a second presentation with two different images. All right. So... So the oh. question is, which is a more cohesive set? This is hmm. number one or number two. I don't know. I'd get rid of the third image and and take one and just she could use either set, but take out the third image and 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 have one that's more. You know. I like this third image. Mm-hmm. This goes really well with the first image does the first set you mean is that what you meant bonnie the first um, set i think or the, oh, or the first not set. this one but mm-hmm. the other set mm-hmm. okay number three goes really well with number one does it make sense now yes yeah. no. okay <laughs> also um, look at the booth picture um mm-hmm. there's a table in the first booth and just a display bin in the second booth mm-hmm. I'm going to move this over. Okay, can we go back to the first images again? Okay, this is the first set. Okay. And hey, how do I get rid of us on the right or wherever I... You know, Up at the a... top. You can shrink it down. The view? through view yes just click the little minimize thing it should become small or disappear no that didn't work uh okay (laughs) well i kind of did it except that now uh sharon you're the only one that's in there so that's okay oh you just on a different view then no this is fine i can see this is what i want to see anyway i don't need to see us no. Okay, so the booth yeah, with I'm... the table or the booth with just the bin? Go back to the... Okay, thank you. Table, um, bin. Mm-hmm. Mm. How about e- neither? Either one is fine. Um, I guess the flip bin would be my first choice. Put it somewhere else though. No. No. I think it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Either one. All right. I'd be more interested in getting this squared up. Yeah, that's kind of what I was yeah. going to say. It's wonky. Square up and a little less of a lid and um but, but square it up. It it feels like I'm tilted. Yeah, Are you talk, you're talking like, about the booth itself, right? Yeah, the booth, the booth itself. Yeah. It could it be. Just, it's on grass. Who's yeah. talking? The photograph, the photograph can be squared up, though. Yeah. And that can be done with an editing software. You just right. kind of rotate it. Yeah. If, if you're not a juror, you need to be muted, please. Now, the problem with the booth picture was shot angled down. Yeah. Yeah. That, and that's why it looks unsquare on the left. Yeah, it needs to be oh. shot straight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or just turn, go into edit and turn it a little. 
Well, even I can do that one. Or send it to Larry. Larry will do it. <laughs> but I have to say, Sorry, it's, a, it's a very nice booth image. Mm -hmm. And I like the fact that it's on grass. It's just overall very nice. This person's probably been listening to us before because it's 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 well laid out. There's no interference in the middle. Right. Yep. You know? Good use of the big images, then mm -hmm. with the two small on the back there. That looks really nice, I think. But it fills that space. Yeah. Yes. But it you also the, looks really nice. Yeah. You know the large <laughs> one in the back? I think that's her best image. She should have that in the booth or in the uh, image shot, the four images. You got you agree mm -hmm. with me? It's not square though. Her her other images are all oh well maybe it would fit. Yeah, but maybe, the other images they're all rectangular. They all have more color. Okay. Oh, this... I was just I was looking at forms though. He's but right as far as forms. Just, just a matter but... of who's whose opinion it's going to be on the jury, which one they're going to like better. I I think number two here doesn't seem to fit quite as well with the others. Let's see what our other options are. Can we go to the other set? Same number two. But you can move the number one from the first set into the number two spot in the second set. Yeah, I'd love to be able to see that. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. How about you put the number three out of this set you have up, make it number two, and make that number one go over. So it should, this bowl thing is kind of balanced around the uh, mm -hmm. graphic. Yeah. Room. You know, this is a good lesson in different jurors like different things, or yeah. or yeah, because I don't like the third image at all, and the the two of you really like like it and think it fits. And I and I in both in both shots, the, I I don't care for the third image. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah, but that's that's the good point, right? That that matters who's looking, and so yeah, yeah. We we don't know just the but the balance is nice of the shape and the aspect ratio and yeah. shows the, the breadth of her work and it, and it, or his work, whoever this is, and goes goes with what's in the booth. It's all yeah. quite cohesive and yeah. Now you're to the mercy of who's the jury. Okay. Um next. Marbleizing and multiple manipulation techniques of three to four colors, as well as various texture application techniques are then applied and geometric shapes are cut to create polymer clay jewelry. And again, this artist has a second set following this one. That's a pretty good mm. artist statement. Because mm -hmm. that tells me everything mm -hmm. I need to know. Yeah. And nothing you don't need to know. Yeah. Exactly. Can we see the other set of images a minute? Okay, the second image doesn't work. Oh. Mm -hmm. There, it, I would yeah because of the heavy pink color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't. Oh, even yes. though that color is in the other three pieces, but not not enough. I like the first set better than the second set, but don't ask me why. No, I mean that's Let's the go feedback back. she's looking for. Yeah, this is a better set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I would put number four in the number one position. Uh, <laughs> I disagree. I, I like it the way it is. It's balanced because one is <laughs> or bring your eye to the center. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, to, I like the way it is. Yeah, go back to the other set, Larry. The number four image is different than the other set. Yeah, never mind. I would have said number four in the other set should be the number one, but the image isn't as good. No. And it's so strongly horizontal that it's. It needs to be in the middle. Nice. And you get the fact that in her booth image, you get that she has other, she or he has other um, color combinations because you can see that in the booth. It's yes. not all red, white, and black. I mean, 
the booth shows a variety of the coloration. So yeah, this set is much better. Yeah, that's nice. Really nice. Booth shot is good. Mm -hmm. How important is it to have wait all not wait, no. wait, wait. No, please mute till Oops. after the, the jury is over. <laughs> Don't you put the what we've done sometimes is put put your question in the chat and we can keep an eye on it and see if we can answer your question. Yeah. The I have a thing... question. Okay. Why do Julie why do Julie's use those um those stands, you know the bust? The so bust, that you can yeah. see the jewelry. Mm -hmm. And Better? you can see what it looks like on a um, neck. Yeah. Even though it's a fake neck. Right. Otherwise, it's going to be laying flat and you won't see it for the. And maybe this is with my um, experience as a buyer. Uh, but it reminds me of when you went to the mass, you know, you could you'd buy that. You'd see the one of a kind jewelry and they'd be laid out a certain way. <laughs> and then you'd go to the mass marketers and they would all all have these uh, these mm -hmm. stands. And it just reminds me of that. Now you 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 guys have a different um, orientation to that, the different experience with that, and you're you're okay with that? You, Absolutely, perfectly I fine. Like, I like them in cases laid down myself, but then that's just me. You'll I think you see more. that different. I think you see that. Um, I see that in the different types of jewelry that yes. polymer clay, uh, glasswork. Um, some metal work is usually displayed like this. And when you mm -hmm. get to the, the Harry Roy's of the world, yeah, our really of the stuff. world, it's in cases, and part of that's just for safety. But yeah, true. Okay. Okay. The one thing about great. this booth shot that I don't like is the fake images on the wall. Mm. The one on the right just jumps right out at me. The one on the back is perfectly fine. Why are they fake? If you, if yeah. you, they're laid on. If you took out the oh. two side images, I think it would actually be better. Oh. Maybe. Or put a, put a red couple of red ones on the, either side of the blue. All right. To answer Anne's question, and we're going to have two different. We're going to have different opinions about this but i think the best image should be the first image exactly mm -hmm. i okay. totally agree and i also think that this image is the best image but that's me again what do i know i'm just a a guy about Larry's a point is that they both draw you to the center the right the left and the right one draw you uh -huh. to the middle instead of hanging straight makes yeah. your eyes go in see i see them both going out <laughs> just to I be contrary Bonnie, Bonnie I don't see that at all that's I, fine I understand it the in, the going in part that's great but she also asked whether the about the importance of the well the order so the best one on the best one on the number one but um, same color same technique or should you show versatility and my thought is that kind of depends on what the work is. Um, it was jarring in the other to me and the other image of this that what that one that pink is is just jarring to when you're in the room. I think yes. So I think that the consistency of the color and I all is a really good thing. Part um, of that is the treatment to the background where the background on the first set flows. Right. That's true. Yeah, the and background's makes, much better on the first set. Yeah, it makes the work much fun. lighter. Mm -hmm. Lighter and brighter, but, but the you get the versatility nice. in the tent, in the in the booth, and so since it, I think to me, since the versatility is in the booth, that well, takes care of that. But there's also not necessarily anything wrong with the fact that if an artist was only red, black, white, and this little tiny bit of pink, that could be cool too, right? Because that's what, what do you they think do. of the booth color? It works with the color of the jewelry. Yeah. yeah. It's great. 
Yeah, All it right. looks good. All right, next set. Acrylic paintings combining texture and acrylic grounds with scumbling. Details and line work, mm -hmm. some using a compass or rule, ruler, are sometimes added using pencil, charcoal, paint pens, or gold leaf. Uh, is scumbling an actual word? I think so. A technique or something? Yeah. Okay. Maybe there's an easier word that gets that across so that people who don't know what that means don't get distracted. I think that's a very good point. I or, don't want I don't want to get hung up when I'm juring on some word that I've never heard of before. That's right. Or thinking that scumbling actually sounds like scumbag. Okay. I would it's a technique of scrubbing an undilated opaque and generally pale pigment across others for a textural effect. Well, let's add all those words instead. That was a joke. Maybe, <laughs> we, need, maybe we need a different word. <laughs> well, I mean, basically, it needs to be um, LCD, lowest common denominator. Right? Well, you, yeah. you know, it's interesting. It actually can be impressive if you use the actual tech word that describes the technique. Because it it suggests that the person has a has intelligence <laughs> and, and knows what they're doing. No, seriously. And uh, but you got to be careful because you want everybody else to understand what the word is, or at least have right. heard of it before. You don't have to know what it is. You just have to have heard of it. I've never heard that word. So too jargony. I is would. It? Oops. Well, that's all right. I, I would take pull the booth up. Oh, I'm on the images. Can we go back to the images? Yeah. Okay. I would put number three as the first image because yeah. that has the most impact. Three, two, no, three, four, two, one. What? The order. Three. The dog, the cat, the owl, and the number one image should be number four because it's looking to the left. Well, I like the fact that the cat has more impact just like the dog does. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but remember, it's fine to, the whole looking thing works great when they are projected. Right. If they're not projected, it doesn't mean squat. You know, one of the tells as to where to place the image is if you see that they're saying, can we use your images in our publicity and we're going to use the first image. A lot of them, they'll tell you that, yep. you know, that they'll use it. Yep. So that says that that's basically telling you to have the, the, the put your best image as your first number image. one. And actually, the dog is the only piece that really has expression. Mm hmm. I mean, I unless, love, unless I love stoicism the, is a is an expression. Well, no, I love the expression on the dog's face, and I think yeah. that would be really cool in the number one spot. Plus yeah. the color background too. It's gonna really pop. Wait a minute! Yeah. I've never seen an owl or a cat smile. So <laughs> that is a a smile on that cat. A cat. <laughs> I have cats. That's a smile. Okay. Oh, and I would look at. <laughs> whether whether what's currently the number one spot, I agree it ought to be the dog, but um, the blue one. Whether that's the strong the net his next his or her next strongest image. When you look at the booth, is there a stronger image than that blue one? I think that's the weakest one. The well, that's why I'm asking the question of is that yeah. the best thing to be the fourth image, assuming that the festival. And questions asking for four. Is well, that the strongest next image? That's just a question. And maybe that goes somewhat to the booth slide because it's a little bit incongruent. And actually, if they ju just reverse the dog and the number one mm -hmm. image, that'd be better. That would be better, right? Yeah, because then you'd have the strong orange at the beginning and the strong mm -hmm. yellow at the mm -hmm. end. And then yeah. in between. So, right. Yeah. Well, I would, in okay. the booth statement, I would take out the parenthesis using a compass yes. or a ruler. I don't care. 
you have details and line work, okay, that are done with pencil and charcoal. That's great. But I don't think the jurors care that it was done with a compass or ruler or done by hand. By mm -hmm. just by hand. I agree. Actually, if you, if you eliminate that done by hand, you know, if you eliminate those words, then you can instead of using uh, scumbling, you can actually say what scumbling is. You can use all those other words. Can use a little bit of wording. Yeah. Well, the booth image looks nice. Now I would, I would crop it. Mm -hmm. I would do it closer. Take a yeah. closer shot. Well, yeah. you crop in on all four sides. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And raise those front curtains up. All the way up. Yes. Or take them off. Right. Or take them off for the picture. It's sure. actually better if you take them off because otherwise you get a lump. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. that, and I will say that as negative as I am about patterned rugs, this one does, doesn't bother me because mm -hmm. the lion yeah. is so distinctive right. and that's what draws your eye. So good job. Mm -hmm. All right. I design, weave, cut, and sew jackets, coats, and scarves. Color, texture, and shape are used to convey my an, an idea. My current work features an edge technique, quilting, and pin tuck details added to handwoven cloth. Scarf concept uses scraps for garment making in an effort to be sustainable. The artist statement is too wordy. Yeah, I think you could cut some of that down, but the images are, are really nice, very professional. Very or, good images. Yeah. What do you think of cutting the face off? Um, the, otherwise, you're looking at the eyes in a yep. short period of time. Yep. Okay. Okay, here we go with, I would put number three in the number one spot really no. i like number one where it's at yeah number one draws your eye to the right yeah and the arm larry <laughs> larry what it doesn't matter unless they're projected okay yeah, i can see but, this okay but wait a second <laughs> we're, we're going after the best shows and those are projection jerks projections. not all of them well, then they ought to be. Well, it's blue, red, <laughs> blue, red. What do you think of that? Blue, red, blue, red. I think it's a balanced presentation. Yeah, well, it I think, is. I think the jurors know who this is. Um, yeah. And she gets into everything she applies to. So, um, yeah, I, I was going to say this is this is more. Prof I don't know who this is, but it's a more professional look. Yeah. Yeah, she gets, I believe she gets into everything she applies for. So, you know, Plus, must, yeah. and she's in all the big name shows. Yep. Is Stuff is wonderful. Work? Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, booth shot is, of course, and that's what her booth looks like. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's beautiful in person. Make it a little bigger, please. And nice, nice use of the photographs in the back to help portray how yes. it looks. And it's cohesive with the actual... Yeah. work that's in her tent and that's in her images you know nice you square the, cut up on the top yeah you see the eyes on the posters mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, well very very nice maybe sort of <laughs> see right. i don't yeah i don't even notice the eyes on the no, posters. I mean, either. Yeah, yeah, i'm just yeah, pointing yeah. that out when Barry asked about the eye. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I was more curious. It was I wasn't making a statement. I was just asking about it. Yeah. It saves a couple of seconds in a projection jury not seeing the eyes. Okay. Vibrant acrylic paint on canvas to create hyper-realistic landscape paintings that are based on specific Midwest locations. And she also did, there's a second presentation after this. 
Let's see the second. And the second presentation was put together because of Sharon's point last year that if all the images are the same proportion, they look better when they're projected. I don't like the cowboy one in with the others because it's such a beautiful grouping. Aren't they all cowboys? No, sort of they're, they're all scene. Midwest. See, now it doesn't oh. bother me in this grouping. Because of the windmill? Oh. I don't know. Go back to the other one. I would stick with this one. I would move the cowboy over. To the right? No, to the to the left. Because the horses are looking going to the right. Larry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, this is funny. That's not okay. It this is fine. I like this I'm, the way it is. Don't I'm move much, it. I'm much more concerned with the continuity of the images than which yeah. way they're facing. It's I know fine. there's a school of thought, but again, it is not from my standpoint, hundreds of shows juried. I could care less which way they point because my <laughs> eyes are going to have to go from one to the other, whether they point the opposite direction, upside down or whatever. I have to move my eyes to see all of them. You know, it's funny. Everybody's booth image is so much better than the first time we did this. Yeah. Yeah. This booth image is gorgeous. Yeah, booth images have come a long way. Yep, very, very pretty. Very nice. Okay, my fiber art is created using raw edge applique technique. Hand dyed natural fibers and various blends of found fabric are fused in layers to a stabilizer and machine sewn with a variety of stitches in free motion sewing. Okay, that's a nice um, artist statement. I think it tells me what it is. Everything I need to know. Because if it didn't talk about the applique part and the raw edge, you wouldn't necessarily know if this is embroidered or painted right. or cut or what. Right. I mean, yep. You could you could make up your own conclusion. I have a question about the booth image. Is this just is this washed out? Is the light not right on this, or is just this the way it is because the work is light colored? It it kind of looks a little washed out. It does. Can you? Okay, I know nothing about these things. Can you darken it a little? Yes, there's a way to darken just the highlights, but not here. Yeah, I need to rich it up somehow because it. To yeah, me, because it loses, it loses the the look that I'm getting from the images, and then it becomes oh, this is yeah. Part of that, out. part of that, it's probably shot with the sun hitting the roof. Mm -hmm. Well, overall, you know, the booth shot is nice. It's just mm -hmm. a little washed out. Just a little more jumpy would be great. But otherwise, I think it looks great. Oh, this is the same? No, this is, I just okay. went back to the full Backwards. view. You can noise it. Okay. All right, next. Still life photographs using hand painted props, including hand painted windows, sometimes sold in coordinated hand painted frames. Originally captured on square medium format film. That 
this is a uh, showing my ignorance. Does it matter that it is originally captured on square medium format film? Is that no. a thing, no. Larry? No. Yeah, I, I would take that out. That doesn't add anything to. Mm -hmm. Not really nicely coordinated. Yeah, they go together beautifully. And goes with the booth image. And... Yeah. Booth looks nice. Good job. I'd like to see a little more work in the booth. You know what I'd really like, and this is not, this may be a personal thing, but the two small ones on the bottom, I'd like a third one in the middle, right across that seam, because I'm really seeing that seam. Now, am I going to notice it in the jury? No. No. Not going to change your score? No. I don't think. Should I say this is my work from 28 years ago? <laughs> is oh, it really? Geez. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, Larry, this is like Rick Bruno. Really? Yeah, because this is what he did. Rick Bruno did? Yep. Huh. He did. He did painted backgrounds. I just, yeah, I had a huh. bunch of his. Yeah, you just posted one the other day. That you were right, your time, Larry, with good, better booth shots. Okay. Reticulation, fusion, textured, and oxidized jewelry with, with natural stones. Bless them. What? Bless them. Oh. For that's. Now, Absolutely everything you need. Oh, in two different styles. Let me see. Is the next one part of theirs? I don't know. I have to look it up. Did this per this person did this before? Mm -hmm. right? Some of yeah, some of the images are the same. I remember these bracelets. Yeah. Well, no, this, this is the only presentation from this person. Okay. This looks really nice. My opinion. The booth looks great. The images are beautiful. Yeah, I guess I'll give myself a plug. I photographed these. Mm -hmm. oh, you did a good job. Can you blow the booth up, Larry? Yeah. Yeah, this is, I think this is the one where that was posted to Facebook where the pictures went down below mm -hmm. and they interfered in the jewelry. And now they're nicely up right, right on the rail. Right. Really nice. Really nice. Yeah, really it's, nice. it's a really nice clean booth. Yeah, really nice. Yep. Very very much an upgrade all the way around. Mm -hmm. Somebody should be very happy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I use sterling and fine silver incorporating semi-precious cabochons and fauceted stones to create a range of classic to modern pieces that are inspired by the focal stone employing traditional metal smithing techniques of hammering, forming, texturing, soldering, fusing, and stone setting methods. I would break that up into more than one sentence. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily think that all that needs to be in there. Yeah, I agree. Especially the range of classic to modern pieces mm -hmm. that are in, you know, mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually I agree with that also. I was thinking that too. And I don't know whether you need inspired by the focal stone because right. 
Yeah. Isn't that <laughs> self-evident here? I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We didn't make yeah. a round piece of jewelry with thinking. a triangular stone. Can we see the booth blown up? Yeah. Larry. Right. Booth is just fine. Yeah. yeah. I like this booth. Yeah, it's nice and clean. I like it yeah. clean. Professional looking. Are the images fake, Larry? I don't know. <laughs> no. Yeah, they're hanging there. Yep. Good. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, it looks very nice. The yeah. Backgrounds could match better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the only, if I'm going to nitpick, other than the artist statement. The image on number three needs to, right. it would help if it matched the others. Is it going to keep you out of a show? No. But it would be more cohesive looking. But it's hard to say what it's going to keep you out, right? Because, because it's jewelry. That, oh, that's mm -hmm. true. Right, that, that the competition is so severe in jewelry that I think things that, that seem like little things in another category may may make the difference because jewelry is so competitive that you know just having the shadow on number two changing the background on number three and mm -hmm. slightly on number four um may make the difference for a jeweler very, now, good but, very good point very good point so hard all right um, okay, this is an artist that only does indoor shows. And that is uh, a five foot by 20 foot indoor booth. My garments reflect their sense of purpose. The raincoats are waterproof, breathable, and washable. They have hoods and pockets. I give careful consideration to function when designing a garment. For example, I, I like to use raglan shoulders with a coat so the jacket underneath isn't fighting for shoulder space. With a busy stretch cotton print, I use concealed snaps that don't interrupt the visual flow of a jacket. It takes a few samples at the start to eliminate features that distract. Less is more. I will say that this is one of those cases where the background, I like the plain background on one and four better than two and three, two and three. but it's yeah. also the distance. I like them up closer. Mm -hmm. I think it, it's more impactful. Yeah, that's a simple cropping right on two and three and get them to be the same kind of images. Yeah, come four and four. <clears throat> where the pieces create are the same size. Right, right. The image. Yeah. Right. The booth, it's hard to judge because. Yeah. And she doesn't do outdoor shows. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a different mindset. This, that might fit into. Uh, the kind of events she does same with same thing with the artist statement but if she was doing an, right. a, an outdoor show she would cut out most of this um mm -hmm. this, this verbiage well if she was I using think... zap this is a juried art services artist statement and is that they... what they would be is that what yeah, they would be looking for they allow much longer statements than zap does i would still as a juror, I'm not necessarily going to read all that. Right. I think you can probably get the same point across with fewer words. Remember that your jurors are going to be seeing hundreds, if not a thousand entries. Okay. Now I have a question for both Bonnie and Sharon. The, the number four image, the Mondrian, 
jacket, should that be in a jury image? Or would yes. it be better to, uh, no, I'm just asking, or would it be better to use an original design? I would use an original design. I find number four really distracting. But it doesn't really fit with the others. Right. right. I mean, it could have been in forefront in the booth hanging on something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because it, 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 it has that kind of impact that you'd notice it in the booth right away. Well, then on the other hand, you could argue that the booth in some ways doesn't go with the images. Not at all. I don't I don't see the original look that's in those those first three images in the booth. What I see in the booth is this bright yellow jacket and these other colors to the right, blue and red and black, and which to me are like I'm not doubting she makes them, but they could come across as production work. They don't have that original look like those others. Yeah, well, it's not set up for the picture either. It's just a picture at a show. Yeah, and, and so even then I would, I know it's different indoors, but would try to get the light on it better, but that might not be possible where they are. But Sharon's right as far as it does look like more production mm -hmm. than the one of a kind pieces in her images. I don't know that they're one of a kind, but to me, they look one of a kind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And depending on the indoor show, that might be just fine, right? I mean, I... Yeah. All right, next. <laughs> I, I use... Is this you too, Larry? What? I said, is this you too? No, no, no. I That was my only one. I use Photoshop for conventional modifications of digital images then personally print inkjet on 100% cotton rag paper. They are classically framed in black with double white mats and UV glass. Well, obviously these made me smile. Yeah. I think it's great fun. The booth shot's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> no complaints about the images. Yeah. What a hoot. This artist is into noses, right? Yeah. Yeah, wine angle lens up close. Yeah. It's fun. Cool. Yeah, Isn't that fun. fun? It'd be fun standing in that booth all day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really oh. conveys what they do. So, you know, I'm not sure what else you would say. Yeah. Well done, whoever did this. Okay. Each piece is completely handmade using numerous metal smithing techniques. Fusing and soldering are employed to silver, bronze, gold, and copper. Patinas are applied for contrast and beauty. 24 karat gold foil is applied using a technique called kembu. I would eliminate the first sentence because when I'm looking at something, I am assuming that it's all handmade. Right. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I know the two kind of marquee shaped pieces probably fit better. Okay, they fit better in a square format. When they're tipped, I would rather see them up and down. Mm -hmm. It would still balance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And whether you can get them, the one on the right isn't the same, doesn't take up the same space in the image. Um, and whether you can get those round ones, round, the roundish. A little bigger. I would Again, it wouldn't matter on it wouldn't matter on, on an online jury, but it, it might matter in a projector jury. I would use number four as the number one. Stronger. 
stronger piece, yeah. I'm really more interested in this booth shot though. It, the booth looks nice. It looks very sparse. I'd like to, have, I, I don't know what suggestion to make. It needs more, both sparse, it, need, it needs more bang. Um, yeah. Because, it because of jewelry. It needs more, more oomph in it. Because it's jewelry and it's going to get past it. It's going to be, it's just so hard. The booth needs to stand out better. I'm not, I don't have a good suggestion for how to do that, but. Well, this works not necessarily visually the booth, but uh, in terms of when you have people in the booth, you can fit a lot of people looking at work mm -hmm. and, and not distracting yes. from the booths around you. So in some ways I don't, I don't like it because of, you know, uh, where everything's placed, but on the, but from a practical standpoint, mm -hmm. I would be okay if they were next to me, because they're not going to block the front. Well, well, that's a good compliment, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it was that bad. No, it's a good compliment to be. I would be okay if they were next to me. You know. Oh, that. Oh, yeah. Oh. You know what I would do is where the right-hand picture is, move it over a little bit more to the right and make it long. Try to fill in some of that white space. Mm -hmm. um, do a long banner. I yeah, think I that think... would help the balance of the booth. Yeah, I think she's experimenting. Um, she just bought those pedestals and she has different, a large quantity of pedestals at different heights. And she's still working on figuring out which is the best way to display the work. Well, I will tell her that that was a very smart purchase. And I do like the different levels very yeah. much. Yeah. And I'm a, I'm a jeweler. Mm -hmm. um, it's a real easy way to see from the front. To see everything. To see everything. Yeah. Um, I think she should get a uh, a tent that uh, won't blow away in the wind. Oh, well, in due time, right? So I'm not a fan of those kinds of tents uh -huh. because I've seen too many of them take oh. off. Yeah. Okay. So th there's a couple of comments in the chat, but they kind of go to jewelry that so many jewelry tents have drape in them, but get color over this white. You know, you see them in turquoise and red and We've had some of them here. Um, so there's a comment in here about maybe some draping to to break up that white. And that the images, that there could be a couple more images on the wall, like some of the other jewelry, jewelry booths had, maybe long, like Bonnie said, or just to help people see, because this jewelry is, is small and it, not it's not small, but it's... It's small. And it's monotony, you know, compared to having the help of bright stone or something. So great style, but a way to help that pop out a little bit bigger and, and uh, well, to get people colored in off walls. the aisle. Pardon me? To get people in off the aisle. Right, right. And to grab the jury's attention because you're going through so many jewelry slides. Okay, how about a picture on the right? Do a long banner of your hands making something. Don't show your face because mm -hmm. then you can't keep it in the in your booth. You can put your name on it um, as long as it can be masked mm -hmm. out for mm -hmm. jurying. But that would give a that would give it a little more oomph. Mm -hmm. More See, interactive like, feel. Yeah. I like the feeling. Okay, I like the overall look that it's very clean and so on. It just needs a little pop, as Sharon said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I don't particularly like the uh, Im you know, the picture in the front. Not the strongest image to use in front. Well, to but that could go in between the other two in the back. But then all you see. Go ahead, Sharon. No, I I know what you're going to say, Bonnie. Go ahead. Well, then all you see is a big black. Right. Thing. Yeah, I know. And, and then we'd get be rid saying of the big blocks of white and black. Good. Okay. As a spray paint and stencil artist, everything I create is painted using artist grade acrylic spray paint applied through hand cut multi layered stencils made from my own original illustrations. Lose the rug. You know, hmm. it does so, kind of work with the color and the work. No, it looks like a napkin. It looks like a bath mat. <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, I, under I understand the fact that it goes with the colors, but number one, it's too small, and number two, it's the first thing my eye saw. Mm -hmm. when I saw this image right. and you I don't want to look at the this. rug. Yeah. At now, first I thought it was a sample of this, how spray paint works. <laughs> I mean, you know, okay. like, yeah. As, but that doesn't go with the imagery, which is so much stronger for spray paint. Right. So I'm like, what is this a sample of how you test a spray can, a spray paint can? I'm a, so yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. It's the spray can version of Jackson Pollock. I like the artist statement. Mm -hmm. I think that's good. And the images look good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Why does, what did they have to say as a spray paint and stencil artist? Because otherwise that's you what don't they know are. how they create their work. Right. But say that. Is it? it he did. Yeah. Okay. She did. Whoever. Whoever. And I think you see that more and more, at least here at here in town with some other events, that spray paint, either spray paint artist or spray paint stencil artist or stencil artist, any combination of those is becoming a definition, a, a identifier. But they say that is in the it? next in the next sentence. I use spray paint. Yeah, she says right. it twice, or he says it twice. Okay. I I really like the first as a spray paint and stencil artist, mm -hmm. telling us straight out, this is what I am, and then goes on. Well, you can take out everything I create is painted using, and then just mm -hmm. go as a spray paint and stencil artist using acrylic grade. Uh, artist grade acrylic spray paint. Half of that sentence could be taken out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the everything I create for sure. Now, yeah. What I like about the, the fact that it says spray paint and stencil artist is that when I started looking at the images, I didn't necessarily know that. I mean, it was still to register with me, but but it says it right there. I'm like, oh, oh yes. wow, this came from spray. Really? And how, well, I wonder what the stencils look like around. I mean. Like oh, <laughs> I should. I look. I look at it. Sorry, I look at it a little differently when I know that it's a spray paint and stencil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I give them a corner and let them create artwork on the outside yep. wall of their booth during yep. the show. Yeah, hugely interactive. Yeah, but I love the booth other than the bath mat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so picky. What are the on the on the booth slide uh, or image? There, what are the little people on top of the? Oh, just decor. Yeah, it looks like flowers. Yeah, yeah. No, I couldn't tell if it was a, a attempt to be introducing some other oh. medium and be able to see why I had that ceramic in my booth. 
but no, never mind. Yeah. I like it because it picks up the colors. Mm -hmm. And the colors are great. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. This is a presentation from last year. And then she submitted uh, different work for this year's jury. Um, in talking to Sharon, um, I decided to throw in last year's presentation. Uh, somebody listened. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. What? Can you go back a minute? What a difference. Wow. <laughs> Isn't that something? And then also, Bravo. she submitted a second number three image. Mm -hmm. So using the bracelet or the second set of earrings, which do you prefer? Let's see. I like bracelet. those earrings. But what do I know? Mm -hmm. I use the bracelet because huh. it's different than the others. Okay, should I read the statement? I work primarily with sterling silver and shikudo and also make my own clasps. Shikudo is a Japanese alloy of copper and yellow gold. I overlay it into the sterling silver. My straight silver work includes the techniques fold forming, reticulation, hammering, texturing, and piercing. This is the new <laughs> this is the new slide. Yeah. Okay. Or this one. No, what I mean is the, the she was judged on the other one or this one? No, no, the Before. other one was from last year's mock jury. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is the new one. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And yeah. Well, the both what, image is definitely a lot better. Yeah. What a huge turnaround! I'm just, I am so impressed. No, what a great. Can you go back to her other one, Larry? Not for the booth image. We'll just ignore that. Um, I was just looking at this other. Is that a necklace or a bracelet, Bonnie? Do you think the black and silver? Probably a bracelet. Probably a bracelet. bracelet. Yeah. I was just looking at that image versus versus her new ones. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. She has her black and black and silver on the two ends, so you know she does that. And the, those are clasps dropped in on top on the two necklaces. Yeah. Very <laughs> Oh, I love when it works, you know? <laughs> Gosh. It'd be interesting to know if it's changed her results. You know, as a case study? You know, yep. How much has it changed the result? I would think a lot. I just it would be interesting to know that. Just because I'm, I'm nosy. I'm so happy for her. That's yeah. great. To be, you know, it's interesting. To be able to analyze that, you'd have to know the shows she was applying to. Uh-huh. The one she got rejected from and the one she got into because there's a big difference be between shows. But you gotta know that that first that first set that came in last year. Yeah. And I mean <clears throat> Yeah. Right. You know, yeah. that rejection rate had to be higher with that image. Especially with that booth image. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's a booth image. It wasn't the the work, it's the booth image. Cool. Sorry. All right. Good deal. I start with a loose oil painted sketch on canvas. Next, brushed oil paint in layers, then finger painted and splattered for extra oh. texture and color to depict animals and florals in a whimsical style. I like the artist statement. Mm -hmm. Very consistent body of work. Yeah, very. Yep. Booth looks wonderful. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that these are big. Mm -hmm. Straighten yeah. it out. Straighten yeah. out the one on the left. 
<laughs> yep, very nice. Very nice. Well, we're not going to be much help. Yeah. <laughs> well, but on the other hand, right, it is helpful to know that people have that reaction. You know? yes. Yeah, that's a good that's thing. That's true. That's a good thing for them to know that. Yep, looks good. Okay. I work mostly in mixed media because it gives me the opportunity to work with a myriad of unique and fun materials in order to get the look or texture I'm trying to create. Yeah, and what is that look and texture? Yeah, I know. In other words, I would you got to can this uh, artist statement because that has <laughs> nothing to do with the quest with the statement. Show us your tech. Give us your technique and your whatever, whatever it always says. Right. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I don't think the first image is helping this grouping. Mm -mm. Me neither. And you don't see um, kind of that or kind of imagery in the booth. I mean, it's like, I don't quite get it. Yeah, I know. Pick, pick something else. Yeah. Do you want me to bring up the booth? Sure. Yeah. Actually, it's right there in the middle on the left wall. Oh. But does it actually have that white background? Or is it just two pieces hung off set to each other? I don't know. That's a good question. It it's doesn't look like it has a background. Because if it has a background, it would be running into that one that's red, green, and blue horizontals. Yeah. And that's not thinking. that's not a question you want your jurors to stop and ask. Mm -mm. I would pick mm -hmm. one of those squares that's on the back of that left wall, because I bet those would look great straight on as a jury image. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, and then the and then the back left wall that's Got more color in it, all the way at the back, back by the by the tent leg. Yeah, those. Yeah. I can be interested to see what those look like as a straight on image and replace that number one. The image that's in the on the back wall, on the lower left. I can't really tell what it is. Yeah, it doesn't read well. Mm -mm. So I might, the next time they do a booth image, change that one up. But otherwise, the back wall looks lovely. That's very nice. Okay. Landscape and night sky photography printed on metal, acrylic, canvas, and luster paper. Or buffalo looks out of place. Out of place. Mm -hmm. I think for the buffalo, it makes sense. There needs to be another animal. Another black. If that's and part white. of what they do. If that's part of what they do, then is there another one? But it doesn't really look like it in the booth. It looks like they have two black and whites. One on the right and one on the mm -hmm. left. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would use number three as your first image. The work is pretty. I think this particular artist, back to my comment about same aspect ratio, Something really bothers me about this one with this, that this must be a uh, coastal picture, the vertical one and and the buffalo, but. Um, yeah, I would I take the buffalo be, out. Yeah. yeah. It, okay, see, what it looks like to me is he picked like his four favorite pictures. Uh -huh. I would agree. Yeah. And there's some strong work in the in the booth image that would be more aspect ratio mm -hmm. and be more consistent. Yes. Um, 
and still allow to show some some variety, but but more consistently. Because I agree with you, Larry. It looks like it's a four four favorite pictures, and then does a juror start thinking it was this just a person taking pictures versus a photographer? Is the way I phrase that. The difference That's, between a snapshot yeah. and a photograph. Right. Right. But now these are all good photographs, but there's no continuity. Mm -hmm. But the images are good, so just different choices. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now this artist submitted two different sets, completely different. And again, this is another artist that only does indoor shows. The booth is booth is just fine. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. so I would say that Barry's be? comment about why the eyes are cut off on the others this that we saw a, a while ago. I think <laughs> this is a good example of how distracting the face and the eyes are. I agree. Do you want me to read the artist statement? The, yes. focus, the focus of my work is on original clothing that is beautifully crafted, artful, and comfortable, often one of a kind or limited edition. Versatile designs are for everyday wear as well as special occasions. Ethical practices and materials made with attention to sustainable are a cornerstone of my business. Garments are individually hand cut and sewn and scraps are repurposed in the design. Contemporary and playful with flattering silhouettes, the work is timeless. Yeah. It's again, juried art services, artist statement. So it kind of depends on what they're looking for, you know? Uh, yeah, this yeah. works, it's like wholesale show. No. The Smithsonian and the Philadelphia are retail shows. Yeah. I know, I know. Is she? I I was thinking about that. Is she doing Philadelphia and uh, the Smithsonian? Um, probably yes. Or ACC. Well, that's wholesale. Oh, that's right. No, that, no. So they don't have wholesale it's anymore. Do retail. They? Yeah, it used to be wholesale. Yeah, when I was doing it. Okay, you want to see the other set? Yes. Hmm. These are a lot more fun. Yeah. This, okay, this, <laughs> I love these. Mm -hmm. And it's the expression on the face that gives the clothing even more pop. I'm laughing because I I like the first set because it's more sophisticated. Oh, the this is pieces. This would get me. <laughs> well, like number three is mm -hmm. just so fun. Mm -hmm. I mean, the clothing itself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and okay. this this is one where you enjoy looking at the model's face. Yes, <laughs> very much so. Because they're, they're selling the work. Yeah, I'd say whatever works for those shows. I I do think the booth's a little dull compared to the work. Yeah. But I agree. I, the booth looks matronly compared to uh -huh. these images. Uh -huh. But boy, I'd use these images in a heartbeat. <laughs> Yeah, what do you think of the first one with a picture in the picture showing the back of the the coat? Perfectly fine with me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't even notice that, so. Yeah, I thought the the back the the inset picture should have been larger because there's room for it to be larger and not interfere. That's true. Jeez. Cool. That's that's quite exciting. That <laughs> this, yes, I really like this. I know you couldn't tell. 
but just the whole feeling it gives you everybody's so stiff and you know serious and then you see these i just think that's going to be a very positive injuring and if, if, if it's working for the person i i wouldn't change it but it does bother me that that booth image is bonnie's word was matronly and yeah. these images are not matronly so not at all so yeah. which is it uh, well, I get the feeling what's going to come to the what's going to come to the show the booth image or the or the images. I, well, it looks like a retail store, and which, maybe that's what she's trying to do. Yeah, yeah, but the clothing design is matronly, and the right. I'm like I not not well, not, that, not that I'm the judge here, but I would never walk into that booth. I would walk into the booth that has these images in it, though. Yes. I would and I'd walk into the booth that has the other set of images too, because the clothing is cool. Yeah, it's not these, easy. These would also make great posters. Oh, uh -huh. wouldn't they? Uh -huh. Um, if these four images are newer work, I would say something in my artist statement, saying that this is new work and. It does not show in my booth image yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something that addresses that. Yeah. Unless this is working for then. All yeah. right. That was the last one, by the way. Oh, that was quick. That's like going out on a high. Cool. I still got three hours to drive. <laughs> okay. so can, can we open it up to other... questions yeah, sorry, yeah. yes we can open it up um i'm going to stop the recording and then start it again so that the mock jury can go up on youtube later <laughs>